we are going to learn the conversion from one number system to another number system. First of all, we have tried two programs, one either one from part A and one from part B. So totally, it is 70 marks theory paper. So there are five different sections, theory examinations for 70 marks and practical A's for 30 marks. And here total A's for 100 marks. Dear students, welcome to computer science classes. I am Ravi Kumar KR, lecturer in computer science, Vidyasham PU College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our session with the introduction to the syllabus of first PUC computer science. Students, this is for your information. And this year, there is a change in the syllabus of first PUC computer science. So this is the new textbook from the Department of Pre-University Education Board. So this is the reference book or study material for first PUC computer science. Now let me explain the syllabus and details of first PUC computer science. Now here the entire paper of computer science first PUC is for 100 marks and out of 100 marks theory examinations for 70 marks and practical A's for 30 marks and here total A's for 100 marks. So here we have separate theory examination as well as practical examination. So in the theory examination it is for 70 marks and students must score minimum of 21 marks to pass the theory examination and at the same time and the practical is for 30 marks and the student has to score minimum of 14 marks to clear their practical examination. So your entire syllabus or CS for 100 marks paper is divided into theory as well as practical. Theory is for 70 marks and practical is for 30 marks. Now let us see the theoretical part of the syllabus. Now. If you look at the syllabus here, these are all the different chapters or different topics covered along with the weightage of the chapter here, this given here. So here in first PUC, there are 11 chapters in theory. So these 11 chapters, we will go through that one by one. So in chapter number one, this is computer system and here we are going to learn the basic definition of computers as well as the important components of computer of computer system. So this is we are learning a definition like hardware, software and so on. And these are the things we might have learned in our junior classes. So here if you look at the weightage of the chapter and here the first the marks here two marks one marks, one marks, one mark. Here, the first two, first number, the two marks is for MCQ, multiple choice question. There are two MCQ and this is one two marks question and one three marks question and one five marks question. Total weightage is 70 marks. So this is how to understand the table here. So first one is MCQ. So in chapter one, you will get two MCQs and one two marks question three marks question and one five marks question, total weightage is 70 mar 17 marks. So this is chapter one, introduction to our basics of computer system. And chapter two, this is encoding scheme and number system. So here, this is a chapter, the weightage of the chapter is one MCQ and here one three marks question and one five marks question, total weightage is nine marks. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about coding system of computers that is ASCII, EPSIDIC, Unicode and so on. And along with that, we are going to learn the number system. So number system, just like binary, decimal, hexadecimal and octal number system. And we are going to convert or we are going to learn the conversion from one number system to another number system. So that is chapter number two. And chapter number three, this is emerging trends and the weightage of the chapter is nine marks, one MCQ, one three marks question, one five marks question, total 
weightage is 9 marks. So here in this chapter, we are going to learn the new technological terms like what is IoT, what is uh, information technology, and uh, what different applications of computer system and what is artificial intelligence and so on. We are going to learn the new technologies in the field of computer science. Only we are learning the basic definition of the different technologies. Now in chapter number four, this is problem solving methodology. The weightage is 15 marks. So here two MCQ, one two marks question, two three marks question and one five marks question. Total weightage is 15 marks. So this is problem solving. The meaning here is how to solve a problem over computers. So we are using computers nowadays everywhere. So if we want to solve a problem using computer, we have to follow certain steps. So we are learning what are all the different steps to be followed to solve a problem over computer. Here just like algorithms, flowchart and pseudocode and so on. That is problem solving chapter number four. And in chapter number five, there is getting started with Python. The weightage is 18 marks, three marks, three MCQ, one two marks question, one three marks question and two five marks question. Total weightage is 18 marks. And this is what the change in the syllabus of computer science first PUC. So here and they have introduced a new language that is a Python computer language. So in the previous session or in the in all these years, we were learning or we have been teaching them a language C++. Now they have changed to Python language. So first PUC, computer science students, they are learning a computer language called Python. From number chapter number five, this is, we'll start with the basics of Python and from five, through chapter 10, we are going to learn the different commands of Python, different syntax, different functions and all different features of Python language. So that is chapter number five. This is the basic of Python language. Then what is flow of control and what are functions with respect to Python programming and what are strings or string handling function, what are lists tuples and dictionary. All these are different concepts to be learned with respect to a Python language. So the say from chapter from five through up to chapter number 10, it is about only computer language Python. Now chapter number 11, chapter number 11 is societal impacts. And here we are going to learn the few definition of the common terms we are using with respect to computer science, just like a, a cyber crime, uh, maybe hacking and so on. We are going to learn those terms in the chapter 11. And all these, for all the chapters, these are the weightages given here. So this is about the theoretical part of computer science paper. Now let us next to the next slide. In the next slide, we are talking about practical. So as I told you, computer practical is for 30 marks and how the practical would be. So here we have, there are five different sections here. So what is that? Here first one is writing one program from part A and writing one program from part B. Here there are part A and part B. So you are writing one program from part A, it carries six marks and another uh, one program from part B, this is six marks. So first of all, we have to write a two programs, one either one from part A and one from part B. In you're writing a program from part A, it carries six marks and this is again six marks. Then after writing that program, next one execution of any one program of examiner choice. So once the, you have written the two programs, you have to show your program to the examiners. So according to them, whichever they will ask you to execute, you have to execute that particular program. So that carries eight marks. Here eight marks, it include two marks for your output. So if you get a proper output, you will be given two marks or if it partial or no output, you will not be getting complete two marks from that. So six marks for execution and two marks for output. So total is eight marks for execution. 
Next one is when in the computer lab, you have to maintain a practical record book. I mean that pro record book contains the, all the programs what you have tried in the computer lab. So those you have to maintain a record book that carries six marks and this will be observed by the examiner. Next one is you will get a viva. Next one is viva. It is four marks. So here the examiner, he will ask you questions that is for four marks based on the programs what you get in the examination. So this is four marks for viva. So totally it is 30 marks for practical. So this is how 30 marks are divided or categorized into different sections. Now let us move on to next slide. Now let us see the question paper pattern. So this is theory question paper for 70 marks and here there are five different sections part A, B, C, D and part E. So in part A you have 15 MCQ multiple choice questions and five fill in the blank. So this is what you have seen in the previous slides about weightage of a chapter. So based on the same blueprint, you will get number of MCQ from each individual chapters and as well as the fill in the blanks. So 15 MCQ and five fill in the blanks, total is 20 marks. Part A is 20 marks, it is compulsory. We have to attempt all the questions. In part B, it is two more questions here and you have to answer any four questions and each question carry two marks. So that is for eight marks. And part C is for three marks question and you have to answer any four questions. It is of three marks each. So total weightage is 12 marks. And again part D, it is again five marks question. You have to answer any four questions. It is 20 marks. And part E, again it is five marks questions, you have to answer any two questions, total marks is 10 marks. So totally it is 70 marks theory paper. So there are five different sections, part A, MCQ and fill in the blanks, part B is two marks question, part C is three marks question, part D is five marks question and again part E it is again five marks question. So this is the question paper pattern for first PUC computer science theory paper. Students, so far I have briefed you about the first PUC computer science subject. Let us meet in my next session. Thank you so much.